All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Tom McDonald journey. Today, we're going to react to Tom McDonald trying to kill me. Now, this one sounds crazy. If you saw the last reaction I did to clone rappers, yeah, that one you've been on conspiracy. So I wouldn't be surprised if now we're talking too much. And now in the next one, there's like a sequel to that. Like they're trying to kill me. So I'm doing, I'm saying too much and they can't handle it. Look, I'm all here for Tom coming out against the agenda, you know, speaking on things like, you know, that Probably the people who are in control don't want you to hear. Guys, if you're excited for this reaction, make sure you smash that like button right now. Let's get this video to 100 likes. If you want me to drop another Tom with the No Journey episode ASAP, all right? Let me know you guys want to see these reactions from me. Keep supporting the thing. Comment, let's get these videos pushing that algorithm. That would do me a big favor, guys. And uh, it also let me know you guys want to see it. So uh, help me help you, basically, guys. And if and with that being said, obviously, don't get to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another upload like this one, especially if I'm going live with you guys. That being said, let's get straight into the video. Let's go. I admit it, I'm afraid they gon' kill me for this Probably put me in my grave for the lyrics I spit Been exposing the truth and all the secrets they covering If I die, it was big pharma or government Been putting too much- This is really given literally what Andrew Tate was doing This was three years ago, so he was doing Andrew Tate before Andrew Tate was doing it Let's be wrong <laughs> He was doing, uh, um, what's the other guy's name? Uh, he's not, because Andrew Tate's not the only one Uh, what's, I forgot the name of the other guy He was trying to say that, um, all of this stuff is, uh, inside job Oh, I forgot his name. You guys know he's on Rumble. He's, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, just remind me in the conversation if you if you know who I'm talking about. He's a quite big guy and, you know, he's on Rumble. And he says a lot of conspiracies. But anyways. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Yeah, so Tom's saying he's afraid. Which is interesting. Because the energy was coming out on, the, on previous ones. is kind of like, look, I'm saying it with chess. And I know you guys are probably going to come for me. Like, he's a smart man. He knows what he's saying is going to upset a lot of people. So I was, I was thinking, and he's still saying it, so I was thinking he's more brave. But I guess on the inside, I guess he maybe is scared deep down. But I guess how can you not be scared, right? They gon' kill me for this. Probably put me in my grave for the lyrics I spit. Been exposing the truth and all the secrets they covering. If I die, it was big pharma or government. Crazy. Been putting too much truth in my songs. They gon' stage a suicide and say I chose to move on. Probably cutting my brakes so when I tour too long, I'll die in a crash. Say I was driving and drunk. Look, the Illuminati real. They're trying to make you dumb, trying to numb you out with pills. Trying to make you broke, trying to tell you it's a deal. Processing your food so now none of it is real. You eating super good, but you still be getting ill. You working super hard, but you still can't pay the bills. Silencing the visionaries, revising the dictionaries. Now you just can't find the right words to say and express how you feel. Target on my back. Oh, my boy knows his stuff. He's talking about the conspiracy stuff, which I'm here for. Because is it really a conspiracy or is it the truth? I don't know. You tell me. This is all alleged. I'm not actually saying anything. I'm a hip hop guy. It's like, all of this stuff is deep, you know. And I think the biggest, the biggest, um, uh, someone said a quote to me the other day. He was like, the biggest, the, the biggest trick that the devil has pulled off is convincing people that he doesn't exist, right? Convincing people that none of this stuff is real. It's all illusion. Go live your best life. Go do what you want. There's no judgment day at the end of the line. It's just, you know, even though a lot of these men behind in Illuminati are doing up rituals because they believe in something. And the thing that they believe in, is it God? You tell me, guys. <laughs> I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't think it's the good one. I think it's the lowercase g. You know what I'm saying? So... You know, where they getting all of this fame, riches, because, look, let's be real, you know, because do fame, riches, and clout, does that give you, does that make people to content? Does that give people happiness? Because a lot of these men who have it, at the, the highest level, there's always, like, scandals or conspiracies or this stuff here, or there's always been some weird stuff, and then now, you're, now they're coming out in the news on some, like, um, you know, now my baby, I've just gave him affirming you know all of this like nonsense i'm just thinking what's going on here it seems like you might not lost the plot up there in the clout world oh my days this is like you guys can disagree or disagree i'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys that watch tom anyways kind of probably would agree more so what i'm saying but if you don't but like i i just think yeah even when it comes to the food that people are eating a lot of this stuff is processed 
and people are also eating it and it's kind of like then again at the same time some people don't have a has much of a choice because you know underprivileged backgrounds or um areas that you know a lot of they make all of this good stuff expensive and all of this cheap stuff is the processed stuff and it's just kind of like this it's all just it's all intentional man this is all intentional ah you know when it's a conspiracy episode, I'm gonna talk bad. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna say a lot because this is. Break so when I tour too long, I'm dying to crash. Say I was driving and drunk. Look, the Illuminati real. They're trying to make you dumb, trying to numb you out with pills, trying to make you broke, trying to tell you it's a deal. Processing your food so now none of it is real. You eating super good, but you still be getting ill. You working super hard, but you still can't pay the bills. Silencing the visionaries, revising the dictionaries. Now you just can't find the right words to say and express how you feel. Target on my back, Yo, I think they're coming for my head. I know I recognize that man. I bet they wanna see me dead. That's they're gonna right. kill me if I leave my room. They're gonna kill me if I go too soon. You should know. Said they would I kill admit me. it, I'm afraid they gon' murder me. Wouldn't be a problem if nobody ever heard of me. But I'm famous, so they'll probably try erasing me with urgency, infect me with a sickness, and deny me any surgery. Stop me from exposing all the medicine and currency and terrorism. Always been controlling us so perfectly. I'm telling you with certainty. They say it's for security. They monitor our lives like we live in Nazi Germany. They wanna microchip all the people you don't believe it. Your fingerprint unlocking your phone, oh how convenient. They trick you to believe in all the angels and demons and say you'll go to hell if you ever go disappoint Jesus. I gotta So perfectly, I'm telling you with certainty. They say it's for security. They monitor our lives like we live in Nazi Germany. They want to microchip all the people you don't believe in. Your fingerprint unlocking your phone, oh, how convenient. They trick you to believe in all the angels and demons and say you'll go to hell if you ever go disappoint Jesus. I got a backbone and a platform and a tap phone. I rewound that part because I wanted him to say it again. Let's continue. Never ask for it to be that known Take my passport to my dad's boat Use the back door to escape this place It's the Truman Show Target on my back I think they're coming for my head I know I recognize that man I bet they wanna see me dead And they're gonna kill me If I leave my room no. They're gonna kill me If I go too soon You should know Said they would kill I admit it, me. I'm afraid I'll disappear They won't issue me a ticket for a minor misdemeanor They gon' try to lock me up before the moment while I'm here Just let me take a minute to make sure you see it clear Cancer has a cure, they killed Biggie and Pop One thing I know for sure, 9-11 was an inside job They stamp dollar <laughs> bills, with in God we trust While a single dollar bill, the only thing we got I think Oh, even the painter says they can see me Yeah, the Illuminati sign right there all C and I, the I on the dollar note. Come on now, like they've been, they've been here since the beginning of time, man. These men have been. In, I think that's why um all of their plans. If you look at the website today, it almost seems like a it's like a perfect plan to get everyone to slowly deteriorate and be happy with less, and to be basically stripped of their power without even realizing whilst thinking you have it. Which is a crazy plan, but if you think about it, like, this isn't something that you do by accident. This is something that you plan ahead of time and you make sure all the parts and you have to have the power to be able to, you know, infiltrate, uh, implement all the parts in a perfect way where it's like it leads into the site we're heading towards today. But um, yeah, he, he said the 9-11 stuff. He said Tupac and Biggie. He said more. He said a lot of stuff, even the, the fingerprint on the iPhone, which is very convenient. Oh, it's for your protection. Is it though? <laughs> I mean, I mean that's how I think they implement a lot of these kind of things, right? And this is all alleged conspiracy talk, guys. This is alleged, right? Right. But it's a thing of you gotta think about it like this. Like, how are they gonna implement all of these things? They've gotta like make it look like it's good for you. You know, when in reality they're using it for perverse reason. Even he's saying that hey, there's a cure to cancer. Like, that's why cancer has been one of the things that. Okay, this is. Let me be sensitive. Let me be sensitive because, like, you know, I'm sure. God forbid, I want to wish on anyone. I'm sure maybe there's some someone out there is watching this who maybe might have know someone who who is personally suffering. So I want to be very sensitive when I talk about all these things. But, guys, right, with all of these advances in technology. And stuff like this. Are you telling me that 
that specific cure has still not been found to this day. I just find that convenient. Now, again, this is alleged and the take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt, right? Because at the same time, this is just he said, she said. And forgive me if I'm triggering stuff. Like, I don't mean to. This is just, I'm just trying to express exactly what I've been kind of thinking for a little bit now. And, um, yeah, like, you got to implement this stuff. You have to put, you have to portray it. Because humans are innately, I, I believe, humans are innately moral and innately have morals and innately want to see good until it's corrupted. And if 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 they were to put out like you know a, a device that was saying we're gonna control you, everyone's gonna re reject it. But if you put out a device to say we're gonna put implement this, so it's a way for your safety, everyone's gonna now accept it, not realizing that the agenda behind it was to control you. And then slowly over time, you'll just end up thinking, oh, I'm so safe now. But you're so. But then over time, at the same time, this safety is just like a scapegoat or like an illusion, because in reality now you're more surveilled than ever. They have more information on you than ever. And you can't, like, you have less and less freedom. It's like safety at, at, at the cost of your freedom, which is literally more important. And on top of that, like, this is like, even even says um in the Bible that the devil disguises himself as an angel of light. Like, because he knows that, like, he can't show himself as a devil because everyone will reject him. But if he pretends to be someone that you like, you're going to be way more invested. You're going to be way more inclined to want to listen to what that person says. And not knowing that it's just a facade and they're actually luring you into this captivity because they're put in the face of an angel when in reality they're a wolf in sheep's clothing. Look, I just... Oh! I can, I can go on for days about this. I, I love me a conspiracy. Try to lock me up before the moment while I'm here. Just let me take a minute to make sure you see it clear. But Thomas Can't saying he's scared right now. Biggie and Pop. One thing I know for sure, 9-11 was an inside job. They stamped dollar for bills, sure, you but know. in God we trust. While a single dollar bill, the only thing we got. I think they probably think they got us fooled. Distort the information and curriculums at school. They ain't making you a scholar, man. They're making you a fool. They're making you a felon if you choose to break the rules. They designed a game with a million ways to lose. Not a single way to win. Only option you can choose is to play it with a grin. Or you play it feeling blue. Either way, the wheels spin. You won't ever make a move. They gon' kill me for this. Target on my back. I think they're coming. For my head, I know I recognize that Real man. Stuff. I bet they wanna see me dead. And they're gonna kill me if I leave my room. They're gonna kill me if I go too soon. You should know. Said they would kill me. Oh, what's going on here? Hey, babe. Um, I just oh, walked no. in the house. Did Did you leave the door open by chance? Oh no. I don't know. The door was open. Nah, I just walked up and the door was like open a crack. Yo, they're in the house! Babe! They're in the house! Yo. I get on my back, I think they're coming for my head. I know I recognize that man. I bet they wanna see me dead. Nah. They're gonna kill me if I leave my room. They're gonna kill me if I go too soon. You should know, I said they would kill me. Damn. Oh, that ending there was deep, man. Shout out to the missus again. No Rockefellers behind behind these, just so you guys know. Wow, man. Even at the end there, he's like, even Loki, Tom did a very smooth duck and roll, you know. That duck and roll was smooth. Let me just play that again. Hold up. No, I this just duck and roll was smooth. Like, oh, what? Crack. Broski's got that wrestling background. That's how you know he used to be a wrestler, man. That's that smooth. That like I would have just dived on the floor naturally. This guy did a little duck and roll. But anyways, that's besides the point. Like I said, Tom was basically this tune was kind of like a an SOS. Like you know, like guys, like, I'm being serious right now. Um, they want to kill me, and if that go too soon, just know it wasn't what they say it was. Wow, man. And I see why a lot of people be saying protect this man out of course because he's saying a lot of stuff that people don't want to hear or they don't want people to hear. Um, and it's it's scary, actually, now that you think about it. Like, when you actually do now have these certain thoughts and opinions, like, it's scary now when you get into it. Like, you see it in the movies all the time and it's funny because they, they actually show you a lot of the stuff that they do and they, they hide it in plain sight. But obviously, most people don't believe it. Most people chalk it up as conspiracy. More people will just chalk it up as this is just not real, which is exactly what they want. And then again, you know, you've got people like me that will say it's alleged. 
even though you know so yeah you know they'll it's scary it's a scary world that we live in um but ultimately i think a kind of uh, a silver lining behind all of this is or at least i like to think is i don't know they i personally feel as if as much as these people are portrayed as people have the power ultimately it's us that gives them the power like it's us that because we allow ourselves to consume all of this brainwash and all of this social media that doesn't have our best interests at heart and we don't have you know deep rooted morals whether that's i believe through scripture um or you know and things that are gonna tie us to a, a beliefs a, a set of belief systems that are beneficial for society you just get a lot of people that are more susceptible to these things and ultimately that that's what gives them the power because they can just get away with doing whatever they want like because a lot of people look at science as their god or they look at celebrities as their god or whatever their science says or whatever celebrities say that's what they're going to believe to the day they die and that's facts for them even if they haven't seen no proof even if they need to see proof they just say this is what it is and they'll believe it and ultimately you know these are these can be the oftentimes are the same things are the like these belief sets these belief systems are the things that will get people indoctrinated by a lot of the things that's given them the power so long story sh short yeah like it's, it's us that's given them the power and as long as they can keep us giving them the power that's what's going to keep them there but if everyone wants to wake up tomorrow and say look i'm not having this i'm not watching this i'm not supporting this um you'll see quickly that these men will crumble because they they we are the ones that are giving them the power but yeah long story short um is that is that is that a realistic scenario to happen i doubt it i doubt that will happen of course with there's so much you know, division nowadays, everyone's divided on so many different things, which is exactly how they want it to keep us split, because they don't want us to group together. Um, I doubt that's going to happen anytime soon, but it's, hope, you can only be hopeful, right? You can only be hopeful. We sort of come together and destroy them together, guys. <laughs> but yeah, it's a scary world, man. And Tom's literally pioneering it, so protect that man at all costs. Guys, that being said, this has been Tom Donald, they're trying to kill me. This been, I've been your boy Jay Flex, and you guys have been absolutely wonderful as always. Shout out to you guys for making this far. The next one we got is Tom Donald Fake Fans. Okay, that one's going to be interesting. Guys, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.